628 and I can't fall asleep back in my tent. So I went to Old Reliable. I slept reasonably well last night, but I don't know, I just can't fall asleep as well. I mean, hammocks are really just the way to go. I think it's because I feel more comfortable in a hammock, because I've slept in hammocks a lot more, recently at least. And so, time to conk out. I guess now it's time to get up. That sun is like... I thought I was going to be having oatmeal this morning, but compliments of Chef Ken. I got pancakes, and now I have a use for that blueberry syrup. Great day, orange juice. We're officially departing from campsite 22. Well, back at the portages. Yo ho, yo ho, off to work we go. I don't know if it's really ever been explained like what this trip is. Well basically it's a father-son canoe trip. That's what it's called. It used to be called a survival canoe trip, but I kind of pushed people away. But it's just a time really to be able to get together with your boy and come out on the river, kind of get away from different types of vacations, you know, vacations where you still have internet access and your phones and you're busy hustling. This is the most relaxed vacation you probably could ever have. It can be kind of, I guess, hard work, but it's a different type of work that ends up being very relaxing. And so, hey, if you guys want to sign up, we, we do as many trips as um, we have people signed up for. So go to campusable.org and sign up for this father-son canoe trip. And there's also backpacking trips too that we do up in uh, Pictured Rocks, um, father-son backpacking trips. And there's father-son weekend in the end of January or February at uh, Camp Sable. And uh, my father isn't on this trip. We were actually on the first father-son one um, way back about like five or six years ago. And it was a blast, such a good time, and I miss having him, not having him on this trip. Wasn't able to make it to, to this one. But it's just such a, it's such a good experience, a lot of character building experiences, and just you learn a lot about yourself and about your relationship with your, uh, with your family members. It's good stuff. Here we are at Five Channels Dam. Just made it, it was only about a 40 minute canoe ride from Loud Dam, so. Now we're in the forage, yet again. Now this is either a roller coaster or a canoe shoot. I haven't decided yet. All right, kiddos, yeah, do all of our work for us. That's what I'm talking about. guys, on camera. want to be on camera. Oh yeah, there you go. Well, I was putting down stakes on my tent and my flip-flop got replaced with a steak. Just took like an hour and a half nap, and you know what? It's okay, cause I'm camping. Flip-flops are fixed. There's the sand dune, nice and tall. You guys ready for it? Yeah. Make it all the way to the top? Yeah. made to the top of the sand dune and we have this beautiful view of both the islands back here. It is, it's really awesome, but it was quite the calf workout to get up here. Now it's time for the fun part. Running back down. Ouch, ouch. Ow, I just have a thought. Whoa. Well, you're right. 
enough gravity to stay on the ground. It's pretty good. So, yeah, like this. Oh We're just riding home into the sunset. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. No. Only Owen had fun? Yeah. My spork knife is now just a fork knife. It's sad that verde sauce is now rare. When I was packing for this trip, I was looking around in the back of the kitchen, you know, for stuff. And I found a whole thing of Taco Bell sauce packets and a bunch of verde sauce. So if you're ever looking for verde sauce, gotta go to the kitchen. Who are you? The ideologist. That's what my brother has said. I never said that. Yes, you have. You just did. And move. This expired in 2014. <laughs> well, it's cheesecakes. So I think it'll be worth it to try. <laughs> Nature is so. Well, this trip is coming to a close. Tonight's the last night. Tomorrow I have one last paddle and we're getting picked up and headed back to Camp Asabo. It's been a really great time. Haven't had too many injuries all until tonight. Well, successful day today. Um, lots of paddling, lots of portages and everything. Got to try out some cheesecakes, that was pretty great. Went up on top of the sand dune, some awesome views. And now I am ready for an amazing night's rest. Peace out from day four.